through that journey, he picked up a nickname. So Henry Box Brown, he shipped himself in a wooden crate that was three feet long by two feet wide and had the words displayed, dry goods and this side up. Third thing I learned is that this side up is the best example of foreshadowing I've ever learned about. For when Box Brown rose up out of his crate like Lazarus, right? After spending 30 hours inside of it, he said that moment felt like resurrection. So I ask for you to let your truth seep. What is within you that should rise? I mean, if you feel froggy, you leap. When was the last time you felt Phoenix? Because I can see that your fire, your fly, at the exact same time. I wonder what are the what are the what I wonder what are the conditions of your hunger, the trench of your thirst, not for food, not for water, but for your future. I have a quarry of questions for your internal tribe. Five, as beautiful as marching is, marching is a partial payment. The stakes of freedom takes Kobe investments. Y'all, we are fork and knife ready with no tape. No maps, no plates. The sixth thing I've learned is that the perseverance of us was within a gamble between distraction and destiny, destruction and divinity. The seventh thing I've learned is that perfection is overrated and is never worth more than the completed path at last. The eighth thing I've learned is Dr. King and Mr. Brown. Other than skin color, they mirror one another. And we are often two times they trying to think outside of the dream box when God is telling us to get back inside of it because his shipment is a guaranteed approval. Oh, here's a bonus, here's a bonus. All right, here's a bonus. The ninth thing I've learned from a friend of mine the other day is that we are all worth more than our four corners. So square up, dreamers. We're already inside the ring, and it is up to us to be boxed in or to box ourselves out. Because as you know, the foreshadow boxing goes, it is always this side up. Thank you.